Hi, welcome to Math Minute. My name is Adam and today we're going to be talking about shortcuts to differentiation. Now in the last video I talked about this really long formula using limits to solve the derivative function. Well luckily we have a lot of shortcuts that can take out a lot of this time. So while we do know this works, we've done the hard work, now we get to do the easy stuff. So things are going to get a little bit easier maybe for the next few weeks. So the very first rule we're not actually finding a derivative. Before I want to talk about that, there's actually one more thing I want to mention. Over here, we've seen this notation, f prime of x, that's the derivative. This is a new notation, which you can kind of look at this as saying, take the derivative of the function x. That's the way it kind of helps clarify things so you understand there's an operation you need to perform yet. New kind of operation, this just says take the derivative of this. So let's go back to this. This constant rule is very similar to the limit laws that we talked about in video two. Now if you notice, this is almost identical, except this says take the derivative rather than limit. So what we can do is it says if we have the derivative of a constant times a function, we can take the constant out, worry about it later. So let's do this example. So if we have the derivative of 2x, we can split this up. So this says off this rule, the constant is 2, so we have 2 times the derivative of x. And once again, very similar to limits, this is the goal that we really want to get to. This is what we want to end up, just the derivative of the variable x. It's really helpful, it's a really easy one to solve. So now the sum difference rule, very similar to limit laws again. If you have the derivative of two functions added or subtracted, we can split them up into two separate derivatives. So for this one, let's do something like the derivative of x squared minus 3x cubed. As you can imagine, we can split this up. The derivative of x squared minus the derivative of 3x cubed. Okay? So now, this is where, if you notice here, we haven't taken the derivative yet. This d by dx is another way to call this. It's still here. So this is just trying to rewrite a problem to where we can apply some of these rules, which actually are the shortcuts. So let's just talk about the problem we did last time. I did the long form method to show that if f of x equals x squared, then f prime of x equals 2x. Now, if you were wondering how I was able to do that so fast in the first video, not the first video, a couple videos ago, this is why, with this is the power rule. The power rule says, if we have the derivative of x to an n power, where n is any real number, that also includes pi and e and 2, 3, 4, anything, negative 5, all that. So if you take the derivative of this, we bring this n down in front and lower the power by 1. Kind of weird to see. But what that is, is let's do this exact example. d by dx of x squared. What this says is we bring this 2 down in front and then lower the power. So this just equals 2 to the or 2 times x to the 1 or 2x. So that's been proven. So what this is is this is a really fast way to go use this method, just jump to the final answer. So let's do one more problem um, and I will use this problem and I'll actually solve it. So if we have the derivative of x squared minus 3x cubed, we can apply these few things that we've just learned and find the solution. So the derivative of x squared minus 3x cubed. So here's something that's very helpful and when you first start learning derivatives, I recommend doing this. Anytime you apply one of these rules, write the rule number above the equal sign and circle it. So for this, the first thing we can do is split this up, which is rule number two, the sum difference rule. So rule number two is what I used and I can split this up into two derivatives. So now if you come back to this problem, kind of confused how you did it, you can refer to the rule number above the equal sign. And when you get good, you won't do this, trust me, this will stick in your head pretty quickly. And you can start doing two rules at once and things like that. So the other rule says, rule number one is the constant rule. So we can take this three out. So rule number one, the first part stays the same, and we can take that three out. 
Now what this is, is if you've noticed, these are just the power rule. So now we can actually take the derivative. So let's write this over here. And equals, using the power rule, which is rule number three, we can say 2x, bring the 2 down, lower the power 1, minus 3, we're going to worry about that. And this derivative, based off this also, was bring the 3 down in front and lower the power 1. So now we have 2x minus 3 times 3, 9x squared. So the final solution says that if f of x is x squared minus 3x cubed, then the derivative f prime of x equals 2x minus 9x squared. And very soon you'll be able to look at this and just apply all those rules quickly. 2x minus 9x squared. So this is a really helpful method. This is just the first part of some of the derivative laws. And we'll get to the more difficult ones in the upcoming videos. But we hope this has been a good base for this and we'll see you next time.